I'm Joey Kare Kumaha Manigua, and this is my Ninichi, my love, my wife, Illuminata, and we are the Yukiyaki Jaguar. Well, we educate the public on the Taino culture we, at schools, local powwows, and, and other uh, cultural events. Um, and it's important because of the fact that it's part of our ancestry. Um, our family is our Yukiyaki. I've been educating and learning about the Taino culture from my grandparents since I was a young child and after they passed away. Um, there was no resources to learn about my culture anymore. So I searched from every powwow, every uh, Native American shop and found no one who knew anything about the Taino culture until uh, a few years ago in St. Augustine. I ran across a, a group called the United Confederation of Taino People. And from that point, it, it just kicked off. I was able to unite with others and um, I started educating first with the American Indian Association in Orlando, uh, doing their powwow, and then to the point where at that time people were still, uh, Tainos are extinct. So to come from there all the way to the point where now we're recognized by the Smithsonian as well as our nation as Tainos is exhibited in a traveling exhibit that I personally got to request to be here. First, we're honored to be a part of and uh, honored to see it come this far and to show people that we are still here. So the Tainos, uh, migrated up through South America, originally thinking that the island hopped from the Lesser Antilles up into the Greater Antilles. But with recent DNA studies uh, a couple of years ago, it shows actually that we migrated also straight across from Venezuela to Puerto Rico in the canoa or the canoes, which is uh, the Arawak language. Since we are the first contact with Christopher Columbus, a lot of the words we use today is carried over, like hammock, canoe, canoa, barbecue, uh, we use still today, as well as Savannah and many other words. So as we came up through the uh, Lesser Antilles and across the open seas, we inhabited the Caribbean islands, known today. We created bates or ball courts, just uh, very similar to the Aztec and Mayan ball courts, uh, as far as the game itself. And then the Lesser Antilles were inhabited uh, shortly after we migrated up or migrated through the Kalinagos or the Caribs began inhabiting the Lesser Antilles. The migration of our peoples have, have, has still continues today, uh, leaving the islands and leaving the Caribbean, coming to the diaspora or to the mainland. Um, and it's been in our blood as we move around. It's also part of our creation stories that we uh, branch out from our Yukiyekes or from our villages, allowing the balance of Mother Earth and for everyone to be fed and taken care of. I've also been working on research uh, for the past seven years uh, that shows tons of archeological as well as recorded evidence that our ancestors actually made it to Florida. Um, and there's also possibilities that they could have made it to Georgia. And Savannah. interesting enough, I've also found a Mesoamerican jaguar on a shell gorget that was found in Missouri. So the travels could very well have included a, a Circuit Caribbean trade route that, uh, that encompassed the Gulf of Mexico, Mexico, as well as maybe up into the Mississippi. The Seva tree is a sacred tree to the Taino peoples and was used in the construction of our canoas, or how you would say, canoes. Because of the disconnect we've had from the, uh, the conquistadors and the pressure of the Christian, uh, even coming to fellow Boricuas or other islanders, and you talk about, you know, you have Taino in your blood, and they would look at you like, you're crazy. No, they're extinct.
So uh, Yukiyaki Jaguar is, is named after uh, a couple things. The Jaguar is a very sacred animal to the indigenous of South America, which is where we migrated from to inhabit the Caribbean islands. So that was carried over along with other foods and, and many other things that made our Taino culture. So it is a very sacred animal, and that's the reason why we chose to name our family, our Yukiyake, the Yukiyake Jaguar. Um, in respects to that, um, we've, we uh, have a Waili, or a child together, and his name is Marcus Jaguar Guadacuya. Um, and also, response to that, uh, there's a picture glyph in Borican, or Puerto Rico, with uh, a little boy on top of could be a man, could be uh, something else, but my son refers to that being him and, and this being me, of course. Uh, the Mayoacan is actually a drum that's uh, carved out of a tree log, and uh, nowadays we carve out of bamboo as well as tree log and make these uh, musical instruments through, for ceremony. Uh, the petroglyph, which is an actual carving in a rock, and then you have a pictograph, which would be a drawing on rock. Um, and this is a, a, a replica or a copy of a petroglyph, like, as I said, in uh, Bodhi Ken. Right, you may. the future really it's just for the, the children people know who we are because of the fact that Christopher Columbus when he did his census when they came over and every encyclopedia in the world decided to copy what he said without any background check without any research and they all copied and said that we are extinct and we're here to tell you that we are still here